Hi everyone, Jeff here from CarBuyingTips.com. In today's video, Ford Performance is debuting their brand new 2020 Shelby GT500. Listen in as we meet with executives from Barrett Jackson Auction and Ford Performance as they explain this new GT500. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm a huge uh, Shelby Ford fan of a 05 GT and a 17 GT, which we were just talking about. Just took it out to the track for the first time. And numerous uh, Shelbys in between. Newest one is I bought bin number one of the new GT500 to go along with uh, my vintage cars that I have. And, uh, I was just looking at this picture of Carol sitting in there uh, with the inventory number on the front windshield there. And, uh, you know, the history of Ford and Shelby is truly amazing, and it's an American icon, how we took it to Ferrari, and uh, how a bunch of hot rodders from Southern California uh, went to Europe with the Coupes and won, and just the whole heritage of the Shelby and the Ford Connection. Um, most of my collection is Shelby's, and I gotta thank this guy because he got me into it. And uh, I grew up a Chevy guy, and my brother had a uh, GT350, 34th one ever built, and when he passed, it came to our, our family's trust, and uh, it's, it's never gonna leave. And uh, from there, I really fell in love with it and Carol being a personal friend and that connection and all those moments at Barrett Jackson, having Carol up there when we sold his personal Cobra for $5.5 million and uh, selling his personal, uh, what was that, a 70 or 69? Yeah, his, his, his GT500 convertible for 640000 I think it brought. We've had a lot of great moments with Ford. I couldn't be prouder of the new car. Uh, and uh, that's it. I'm excited about the future. So we're very fortunate that we have someone that is not only a Ford Performance fan, but a motorsports fan. So Jeannie Cricaldi is new to the role here with Barrett Jackson, but she is going to give you a walk around of the new GT500, for those of you who don't know it, and then she'll be available afterwards to answer questions about the Ford Performance lineup. I'm sure most of you know Ford Motor Company was founded on racing, technology transfer, road to race, race to road, uh, more so than ever when we're developing our cars, we're, we're, we're looking for those tech transfer. The Shelby GT500, the all new Shelby GT500, will be available in, in stores. Uh, 2300 Shelby enrolled dealers. You can, you can get a Shelby GT500. It'll be in store later this year. It'll be a 2020 model. This particular unit that you see here is a, uh, has the track package on it. The color you see here is Twister Orange. It's one of 11 colors. You can get some stripes on the Shelby GT500. It comes with your uh, base vinyl. However, you can get painted stripes. And I believe you can get your stripes in three different uh, color options. The package here has your carbon fiber wheels. They're 20 inch wheels. And all on the rear, you can see they're about a half inch larger. It comes with your exposed carbon fiber wheel. You can adjust it in one of two ways. Right now, it's in your straight position. You can adjust it up for the race position. On the inside, you have your exposed carbon fiber dash. You also have your standard Recaro seats. And if you look closer, you can see that the rear seats have been taken out of this particular unit. That is standard in the track package. You cannot put the seats back in, and obviously those are removed for, you know, deleting a little additional weight for optimal performance. This is your fastest street legal Mustang ever that Ford has ever produced. So we're really excited about this. It's got the largest hood vent that we've ever put on a car. Um, also it has the largest dual, or, I'm sorry, quad exhaust that we've ever put on a Mustang as well. Um, so there's a lot of racing technology that has gone into this car. We're super excited about it. We've also used a lot of our racing drivers in terms of uh, testing and, and building. The uh, men and women engineers that have put a lot of heart and soul into this vehicle are very excited. It's also the first time ever since 1970, I believe, that the G 
GT350 and the GT500 will both be available at the same time. Compare that to this 1969 Shelby GT500.